60 seconds on comparative advantage. Well, this means producing what you're relatively best at. In other words, where your opportunity cost is lowest. That means what you give up to make one extra unit. So even if one country is absolutely better at everything, both sides can gain by specialising according to comparative advantage and then finding mutual gains from trade. So, for example, Bangladesh has relatively low labour costs. It specialises in labour-intensive textile and garment production. Vietnam's labour force is also relatively abundant. Wages are lower than many advanced rich nations, making labour-intensive manufacturing highly competitive. Indeed, Vietnam has attracted FDI, foreign investment, into electronics, semiconductors and assembly operations. And these have become significant export sectors, producing and selling at scale and allowing Vietnam to move up the global value chain and help increase per capita incomes. Now, the key takeaway point, it's not about who's better at everything. The USA, China, Germany, Japan, they could all make textiles, e-vehicles and processed coffee. But it's about who gives up less by specialising, because that frees up scarce resources and helps to expand total global output.